Oh, Rick, is this the cringiest we've ever gone? Rick, what do we do? People are gonna be upset with us, Rick. I don't know. That was Bush World, Morty. As we plunge deep into Season 7, Episode 8, is this the cringiest Rick and Morty's ever gotten? This was a pretty bad episode, so we'll break it down. That more I am the man you may know as Z, and I am from Our Reviews Will Kill You. And it would sure help the channel if you gave us a like and subscribe. I always forget when I'm watching other YouTube channels to actually like and subscribe. So I'm asking you now, please do it. And let's get right into it. This is part of my series of reviewing Rick and Morty. I think we've reviewed not quite every single episode, but probably from like episode four, or I mean from season four on. Uh, in my series of Rick and Morty rants, that's right. Oh, Rick, Bushwild, Rick. Let's talk about this last episode. It was, it was ugly, folks. It was bad. Rick and Morty fans are I was so <laughs> to be honest with you normally I put these out on Monday and I was so bored by the episode I was like I didn't know what to say I was like eh, it's kind of meh it's pretty bad it's and then I stumbled upon this article um what the heck site is this predator.org or something no it's dexerto.com and um, they slam the episode as torture, which I don't necessarily blame them. This was called, oh, what was the name of the episode? And then Numericons, the movie or something like that. This reprises the iced tea, the water ice, <laughs> the ice cube. I don't know what is going on with this episode. It repri reprises uh, something from the, the Get Swifty episode. And it's so weird because Morty kind of keeps dropping like, do you, do you remember me from Get Swifty? And it's like, no, I don't remember you from Get Swifty. And what's funny is, is the Get Swifty episode is a really, really good episode. And this was just like a weird tangential side plot that wasn't that interesting. And they blew it out to a whole episode, and that's a mistake. That's you guys trying to pander to the audience and not knowing your material good enough. Uh, and Mr. Goldenfold is fine in small doses, but having a whole episode with him and just Morty, no thank you. It's, it's almost like if you went back to the episode with... Um, Oh my God, the Freddy Krueger guy who's like, oh, bitch. Oh, you know, like you can't have it. Goldenfold's in it, but he's not the whole episode. You don't know me. Like that's a, it's a great episode, but that's because they, they know how to use it in, in like little pinches. It's like a dash of salt on your food. Yet here we get a torturous episode of Ice tea. And not only is Ice tea the character back. But you get the actual iced tea, who I think is, is fine. In fact, that was one of the highlights. There's an Ewok joke that's one of the highlights. Um, So this review says, following a shaky start, Rick and Morty finally found his footing in his latest chapter with the suicide spaghetti, strong summer. We had all the other, you know, we've talked about all the other episodes. But now... This what some people this is bad. This is so bad. Uh it's called Rise of the Numericons, the movie. And it just dropped so much into it. Water tea and references to get Swifty. And oh my god. Nobody needed to see any of this. Here's a response from from X. God, am I cringing so hard on Rick and Morty. Actual torture, stop it. Worst Rick and Morty episode. I'm trying to think. It's not the worst episode because there have been worse episodes. It's just they plunged too hard into something that nobody asked for. You know what I mean? 
Nobody asked for this. Nobody wanted to revisit a, a lane. It, the point of the joke from the Numericon, from the Get Swifty episode, is that they're saved by Ice Team. That's supposed to be like a cringy joke, and you're supposed to. That's supposed to be part. They rap about math, and then they got actual Ice T to rap about math. Here's a real good comment. If it's like a post credit gag, became a whole episode. That it was it was terrible. <laughs> yeah. You know, and I don't need episodes that are super deep and, and like not every episode has to be ca- I'm all about standalone episodes. You just have to know the golden fo- fold is not a you can't keep going. It's he's not a character who carries an episode. So wow, they just it, it, it I did like the Ewok joke. And then the whole numbers thing. I'm like, what? what is with the numbers? I'm infinity. And he starts having sex with the number seven. The sinister seven. Like, why? Um, okay, so essentially the plot is Morty doesn't pay attention to math. And Mr. O- uh, Goldenfold is not happy about it because it reminds him of his old student, Ice-T, who never finished his homework. And then you get the whole Numericon thing. Where they go and rehash. That's part of the cheat of the episode that I think is actually cheating. Is they rehash the ending side joke. Might have been a post credit scene from a previous episode. Maybe season three. Of the Numericons and him becoming Water Team. That whole thing. And they, they, so you're rehashing something. So you're eating up like a good 30 seconds of runtime on that. So then you go through the whole thing where they have this like weird, I don't know what it is, a whistle or a necklace or whatever it is that's supposed to say that 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 numbers and and letters get along and the entire time Goldenfold is like math is math is good. It's great. And then you have Keith David reprising his role as a as the president and he's running he's a senator or a governor running for office and he's like i need that that kid the the math loving kid vote and you know uh ice t doesn't thank math for for where he got because golden fold taught him how to count in four four he couldn't rap properly because he didn't understand numbers but now he does understand numbers it's so convoluted and so stupid i do like the joke where Morty's like, this is moving along real fast. Like he's, the plot is moving along faster than he would have anticipated, you know, with a, with a standard uh, Rick episode. And I, what do they call Googogs? Like the primitive numbers and letters before there were letters and numbers, they're Googogs. And there's a, a, an Ewok party (laughs) because they land on the planet of the Googogs or whatever. I mean, the plot is so basic and boring. I think that's that's pretty bad, and and they just keep pushing hard on the 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 pee joke and the the ice tea and water tea and ice cube and it's it's just it's too much of a bad joke, not made funny. It's just not interesting. What I thought would have been interesting would have been. Morty going like having Morty back in school because basically what the planet got overrun and and things have gone back to normal ever since Rick came back but we're still at a point where school like when was the last time you saw Morty in school and it would have been kind of interesting to have all of his classmates and even Mr. Goldenfold be like Morty we haven't seen you in school in like two years what are you talking why are you even here he was like, oh, well, you know, Rick said it would be good for me to come. Like, where's Jessica? Like, none of it. it there's none of the, the the interestingness of school. So there you go. I cringed real hard. Is this the Jump the Shark episode? They better come back with... Uh, there's two more episodes left of this season. And they've had some really solid episodes. And this was just like... This is definitely bottom five episodes. It's probably not the worst episode I've seen, but it's definitely bottom five. I hate Story Train and Story Train 2, and I just can't stand it. So tell me 
what are like some of your worst Rick and Morty episodes? So I can maybe I could compile a list of the worst five Rick and Morty episodes, and we could talk about it because I think this one's right in there, cringe mode. I need to see a list, and and I need your help. So so give them to me. I'm gonna go rewatch them, and we'll talk about it because this is, ooh, this is bad. This is real bad. Has the show jumped the shark? Is this that killing moment in the in in the season? Personally, I don't think so. I think this is just a, uh, a a step in the wrong direction. But I'm I'm this uh, the season's been real good, so I'm, I'm kind of willing to forgive and forget it. Mostly forget it. So let me know what you think in the comments below. In the meantime, catch our full length audio podcast. It is on Stitcher, iTunes, Spotify, and we live stream it here. Friday night, 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Come join us. Come hang out. Come join the party. I promise you'll have a good time. You'll enjoy it. I do it with my co-host, Noob Noob. You will enjoy Noob Noob. I promise you. If you're watching Rick and Morty, you've met the human Noob Noob. He'll be there. So anyway, thank you for listening. I appreciate it. I will look forward to your comments below, but I am on to the next one. Mm -hmm.